Hey YouTube, it's Patrick Star. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have this Valentine's Day inspired look for you guys. And as you can tell by the title, this collaboration is with my girlfriend, Sandra Deluxe. And I thought that instead of doing a turban today, I would do the Sandra Deluxe um, hairstyle, the Deluxe special so I'm gonna stand over here on this side of the screen so we can get a split screen she has like a shaved side mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes you guys should definitely check her out she is amazing she's sickening um, I love her Instagram that's how I found her and then I found her on YouTube she has amazing tutorials she's Canadian and um, we met up in IMAX LA so um, she came down um, to LA to meet me and um, we hung out all day at IMAX, and we had dinner together, and she's just so beautiful. You guys have to follow her on Instagram, follow her on YouTube, and subscribe to her, because she is so talented, and she's just funny, and she's hella sexy. So speaking of sexy, our collaboration is more so for us single ladies, because her and I are single. The only man that I have in my life is Jesus. So other than that, um, our look is, I hope my wig is all straight. Oh my God, this looks like her. Anyways, um, um, yeah, that's what our, our tutorial, we discussed that we wanted to do something simple, sexy, and a little bit slutty for our girls. So for those of you that are single, um, or, oh, it's Manny. Um, for those of you that are single and want to feel sexy, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Again, check out Sandra, and for all of you out there, ladies, and men, and boys, and whatever, everything in between. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye. guys it's Patrick Star so the first thing that I'm gonna do is prime my face with Smashbox photo finish primer and I'm going to rub it in all over the face to prepare for the foundation which is studio fix fluid this is a full coverage matte foundation and I'm going to take this with my morphe kabuki brush which I do have a 10% discount off for you guys using the code p star with three r's all caps and this brush is amazing because it coats the whole entire face evenly because it is so dense and it is very large so it gets the job done super fast next i'm going to take my full coverage foundation by mac in the color nc20 and i'm going to highlight using my flat foundation brush i like this brush because it is good for application and it gets an even amount i don't like blending with this brush i simply like using a brush like this for applying my highlighted areas because it's flat and also thin when you turn it to the side so next i'm going to take my morphe kabuki brush again and blend out the center of my face and i like this because the residue from the foundation will blend in the highlighter um, color and the foundation into two so it's not so drastic so next i'm going to take my beauty blender and i'm going to oops oh no oh no okay next i'm going to take my red carpet beauty blender and i'm going to squeeze it under some water and i'm going to blend in the under eye so as you can see there's no leftover foundation on this beauty blender so the under eye area is quite highlighted since I don't have my air spun, I forgot to buy it. I'm going to take my expensive powder this time, which is my Laura Mercier powder, the translucent powder. And I'm going to use this to cook my foundation with a powder puff. And I'm going to use this all over the face. But this powder is quite expensive. So as that is cooking on my face, I'm going to move on to the eyes. I prime my eyes with Max Paint Pot in soft ochre and I'm going to take peach smoothie by makeup geek these are all makeup geek by the way I'm going to take that just to set my eye primer 
and then I'm going to just take that with an E40 brush and just blend in all the eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to take Cupcake by Makeup Geek and mix it with a little bit of Cocoa Bear. And I'm going to take that on the same E40 brush and I'm going to concentrate this on the outer third of the eye and the inner third of the eye. Um, this will add act as our transition color from the black to the pinky purplish to the warm colors and again you want to make sure you use a fluffy blending brush like this one next I'm going to take a smaller brush by um, Sigma I believe and I'm going to take Cocoa Bear and Bitten by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to work that in lower than the transition colors and I'm going to go straight up a little bit past my crease. This doesn't have to be perfect as you can see my blending right here isn't perfect but you just want to make sure that you're getting the color payoff that you want and as you can see I'm taking that E40 brush again and I'm taking a little bit of Cupcake and Cocoa Bear and I'm going to blend that up and out and then you're just going to repeat the process until you get the desired look so we're just going to take a little bit more of bit in and a little bit more of that blending and move forward next for the fun part i'm going to take in the spotlight by makeup geek this is the foiled shadow and this stuff is super pigmented you see how shiny and foiled that looks and it's not wet it's simply straight from the eyeshadow and i'm taking that with a flat brush and patting this on the center of the lid going straight up a little bit past the crease so it opens up our eye so just patting it down you see i'm not really um dusting it on you really want to press it onto the lid so you get a full color payoff oh and by the way my mirror is by candy lover 89 and then after that i'm going to take my lit cosmetics adhesive and hello sunshine glitter by lit cosmetics and i'm going to take a little bit of the adhesive pat it onto the foiled eyeshadow and dust on the hello sunshine this glitter is super sparkly there's a little bit of reflex of green and gold in there and it's super nice and as you guys can see up close there is virtually no fallout on my eye and this glitter is super pretty and you see i took it a little bit past my lid but next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with our winged eyeliner and the liner that i'm using is by inglot and you just want to create your normal wing and then smoke at the bottom, line your waterline, and then I'm going to smoke out underneath with Bitten using a flat top angle brush. And you just want to make sure you smoke it out to your liking. And just smoke, smoke, smoke. And to add more depth onto the top of the eye, I'm going to take Corrupt, which is Makeup, Makeup Geek's black eyeshadow. And I'm going to add depth on the inner corner and the outer corner of the eye, just below. You do not want to go too, too high because it'll just look like a black mess. You want to still make sure that the cupcake and the cocoa bean is showing through. And as you guys can see, I'm blending a little bit of the black eyeshadow with the bitten and the cocoa bear next for lashes I'm gonna take two pairs of sherry lashes with my mink wink tweezers and I'm going to apply that on to the liner like so and then next I'm gonna take one or two demi glamour lashes by Ardell and apply it on the bottom and to dust off the translucent powder I'm going to take my studio fix powder by Mac and then I'm going to contour like I always do and highlight. If you haven't, please check out that video in full detail for details on how I like to highlight and contour. And as I whiten my teeth with my whitening lightning, I'm going to take um, my 113, uh, my Makeup Forever powder and highlight. Next, we're going to take Love Affair and Makeup Geek um, blush. And we're just going to dust it on. I love this pink blush. It's very flirty and rosy. And then I'm going to pair it with a nude lip. So I line my lips with natural liner and contoured with burgundy liner. And I'm going to use Gerard Cosmetics nude lipstick. Um, if you want an in-depth review on how I contour my lip, let me know. And then I'm going to top it off with pink tiara gloss by Gerard Cosmetics for that sexy shine.
Mình sẽ cầm lấy này cho xem Đó quá Hey guys, it's Patrick Star, welcome back to my today Dad, yeah. I'm recording, okay, so just don't talk So they're slutty, so, um, yes Oh my god Turn off <laughs> This wig is itchy, you know what, if your wig is itchy, just lift it up Scratch the scalp Ugh Okay, and then put it back down <laughs> I need to work on my fishy voice because sometimes my my um my deep voice resonance comes out. You know, you know what I'm saying. Um, so, 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 so. Happy Valentine's Day. The reason why I'm putting my arms up is so you guys can see my cute lace top. It's like a crop top. Um, it crops a little bit too much, but I thought I would just show you guys my crop top. Not crop top, just the design of the lace. Hi, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Stay awake. <laughs> Keep swallowing. Stay little Valentine's Day. It's funny Valentine. Oh, my funny Valentine. I'll do a little bit of a dance number for you guys. It's been my song. I just like the beginning. I hate these YouTube ads. Oh, what movie is this? <laughs> this ads be getting me. It's a Disney movie. Okay, guys, girls, girls, girls. A little trick if you want to have your little um, your neck rolls. Put their back and then scoop them right onto the neck to contour, just like this. Perfect. Hide and seek. Like. <gasps> oh. 